In this video, I'm going to show you some features of the Advanced Find Filter option. One feature to keep in mind is the Details button. The Details button can be used if the fields appear to be locked and uneditable. Once the fields have been unlocked, you can begin your search. The Results button will give you the results based on what fields you have selected for that particular entity. In this example, under the Accounts Entity, I'm going to look for all the accounts that have a name associated with them. If you wish to expand your scope, using the Edit Columns button will take you to a window where you can add or remove any additional columns or unnecessary columns to refine your search. Another tip to help refine your search is to use the Related Entities field. The related entity in this example is going to show you all the cases that are associated with the account name. Another feature to keep in mind is the group and and group or. And the group and will give you results for the rows that you've selected together. In this example, the group and is going to group account name and account number. The group or feature will give you results for account name or account number. Once you're completed, you can export your results to Excel. Under the Export Accounts button, you can simply click on the icon or select the drop down if you wish to receive this in a different Excel format. A best practice to keep in mind is to save the query. Whether you run the query often, or whether you run the query once in a while, saving the query will save you time for when you need to run the query again. To view any saved queries, simply click on the Saved Views button and look for the query that you saved. Simply open the query and hit the Results button to run your query again. If you enjoyed this video, click like below and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post, click the bell icon next to subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, or if you'd like some help with Microsoft Dynamics, Power Apps, or Power BI, please visit netwoman.com.